Hi, my name is John. Um, I have some questions to post upon you. Uh, this is a pretty difficult problem. It's a level four out of five. Um, level one would be pretty easy. Level four, level five would be the hardest. Um, the question that I would ask is, you know, this is for mostly like Brian Kim's class from Newberry Park. Uh, it's a very difficult class. He does not let the students use calculators. And you want to have a calculator ready form with a single log, and that's what I want you to do as well. Um, some of the teachers at Ventura High School as well, uh, as well as some other schools, uh, will require the students to do some harder problems like this. So let's look at this. Uh, log base 4 of 5 times log base 5 of 6 times log base 6 of, six of 7 times dot, 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 ellipsis. That means it goes on in this pattern until you get to log base 202 of 203, and I want you to give me what that answer is, and then simplify this expression to a single one. Before you start, uh, I want to, you, all of you guys to press the pause button to try to figure out how to do this one, um, and pause it every single time uh, I give you a hint. If you can't, spend about three minutes uh, trying to figure this out. That way you kind of whack your brain a little bit um, to try to see that uh, it might work or not. So let's get started. Uh, if you have a, a way to figure this out, just press the pause button and you can try to work it out. Uh, so here's hint number one. Pause it if you want right now. Okay. Uh, log base 4 or 5. Um, there's nothing we can do about that because it's base 4, base 5, base 6, dot, dot, dot. And it goes in that pattern until you get to 202. So what do we do? It's not a... Um, Sequence or series, of course, sequence is separated by commas, and se series is separated by adding or subtracting. So it's definitely not one of those geometric or arithmetic or any type of sequences or series that you've worked with before. So uh, here's hint number one. And notice log base for five, you're gonna use the uh, log uh, change of base formula, or CBF for short change of base formula. That's your hint number one. You can pause and try to see if you can change this to log base. Okay. So let's get started. Log of 5 over log of 4 times. Uh, you can use common log. You can use any base you want. If you know just change of base formula, you, you should be familiar with how to change it into uh, different bases. Log of 6 over the log of 7. Uh, sorry, 5 times the log of 7 over the log of 6, times dot, 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 times, I want you to do the one previous to that, it will be 201 over 202, log of 201 over 202, log of that, times the log of 203 over log of 202. Remember, log base A of B is equal to log of B, over the log of A. And you can use any base we want. We like to use either base 10 or base E. Of course, the log uh, 5 is the common log. So we can use natural log of B over the natural log of A. Don't forget, the B is the big number. It goes to the top. The base goes to the bottom right here. And so that's the formula for the CBF, change of base formula. Natural log uh, you can put in any numbers like log base 3 of 7, and you can use the natural log or the common log. Check it out in your calculator. You'll get the same answer. Most TI-84 plus calculators will actually come with this answer. So um, com the new TI-84 plus calculator will, will come in with a new operating system uh, that is built in so that you can actually plug in the log base if you want to as well. Older uh, models, they don't have that. You have to go to the ti uh, store and then purchase, not purchase it, get it for free and download it to your calculator. Anyways, uh, as you notice, the log base 5 cancels, log base 6 cancels, log base 7 will cancel, uh, log base 202, uh, sorry, sh the one before that should have been 202 over 201, the previous to one that should have canceled, 202 should have canceled as well. So sorry about that, it should have been log 202 over 201. And so everything cancels. You have the log of 202, the common log of 20, sorry, 203 over the log, common log of 4. And I want you to have it 
uh, calculator ready form with a single log. Can you change this back into a single log? That would be the same thing as log base 4 of 203. You can work that out in your calculator if you want, but um, you know, I just want it in calculator ready form with a single log, and there you have it. Uh, hint number two should have been that it should have actually canceled with all the rest as you wrote it down. Okay, here's the second problem for you. Uh, log base, this is also level four. Log base x plus log base x minus one equals natural log of, I'm sorry, e to the natural log of log base 10 of six, uh, which is the common log of six. Oh, on this one too, you could have actually done it, um, worked this problem out using calculator and would have taken you about 10 minutes to actually input the information if you put it in correctly, but that wouldn't have really helped because you wouldn't have known that it would be the log base 4 of 203. So you could have uh, done this problem and taken 10 minutes, but it would have been a lot easier. SAT type of problems will make, make you do these type of problems, although there's no logs, they will make sure that you know how to cancel these um, problems out. So make, on the SATs, don't forget to cancel them out, okay? Or learn to cancel them out. Well, uh, we got a problem here. We're trying to find the value of x and which x will work. I created this problem myself. Uh, that was a pretty cute problem. So first thing we do, hint number one, um, change it to a single log. And so we're going to, what we're going to do is go log of x times x minus 1. So we did that. Hint number 2, e to the natural log. These are inverse operations. Uh, a base raised to the exponent with the same base will cancel itself out. You get log of 6. Common log of 6. Now at this stage, we know that there's two ways you can do this. You can change this to a um, Exponential form. What I'd like to do at this stage is another way is raise it to the 10 power. When you, I raise a number to a 10 power to both sides, it, the equality stands. So I can do that, and I'm sure that your teacher should have taught you by that by this time that these are inverse operations. You can do it the same way. I'll give you an example of how that works. Log ba uh, base 10 common log of x is equal to 5. Let's say. What I could do at this stage, instead of changing it to exponential form, I could erase it to the 10 power, to the left side and to the right side. And I'm going to use a different pen for this if possible. Uh, Where's my green pen? I could actually literally cancel these out. You get x equals 10 to the fifth power. Either way, uh, you know how to change this to an exponential form. Log base 10 raised to the exponent 5 equals x. Same thing here. Okay. So let's get started with this. Uh, we're going to uh, simplify the left side, expand that out. x squared minus x is equal to the 10 and the log base 10 cancels equals 6. At this stage, it's a quadratic and it's got a linear term and a constant term. So we move it over. x squared minus x minus 6 equals 0. We factor that. That's step 1. Step 2 is Write out your first factors. Step three of this minus. One's going to be a plus. One's going to be a minus. And the factors of six is three and two, six and one. I have a video on this. If you want to take a look at it, the four step. Uh, the three and two will probably work. The three will probably go with this one. And the two will go with this one. Uh, when, and then I'm going to check my oil. X squared. Outer is minus three X. Inner is two X. So it's going to be minus x and then minus 6. Check your oil and your foil, guys. And then solving this out, x plus 2 equals 0, x minus 3 equals 0, x equals negative 2, x equals 3. And we're done. Now, if you guys write uh, this as your answer, uh, your teacher will probably give you about half credit right now. Can you figure out what's wrong with this uh, solution? Uh, x equals negative 2 and x equals 3. Press the pause button if you're not, and try to whack your brain about maybe a minute or two. If you can't, just press the uh, uh, play button again. Okay. Uh, what happens here 
is that x cannot equal negative 2. If I put a negative 2, the log of a negative number is an imaginary number. That's the reason why it's a level 4, because you have to check your work on these, okay? And it's best if you can, uh, if, especially when you're solving for an equation, for equations you're always solving, by now you should know that, that you should check, try to check your work, okay? So hopefully it helped, helped you. Uh, this is part one of two. Part one of two. And I will video the second part with two more questions. Good luck on your test and hope it helped on your more difficult log function problems or log problems.